I know guys, on your brand new slip tip dates, Log13 announces the signing of three new Zimbabwean artists to the label. And now, for more on this story, just stay tuned to this video. Perfect. And well guys, it seems Lucas Raps' camp is only getting bigger. This comes after the recent moves that have been made by his label. Starting from signing a few ex YT in South Africa to signing an American artist by the name of K Cash, of which I've made a video about it as well, and now announcing the signing of three new Zimbabwean artists. And well, this was announced by Lucas Raps' manager, King Twilly, to say that they've signed Sun. How can I face summer, baby? 2021, done a nice sun baby. 2022, I build a house by the midi. 2023, I bring a Grammy to my city. Hang with me in the face, I'm a day. Denny Woods. So acknowledge me, and don't see me like I'll settle for that bronze and silver medal. I'ma give him genitals in the jar, they can't offend me, uh. He came in a chariot, left on an ice pack. I'ma show him hell, have him out here searching with Christ there. Oh my God. And Obi David. I'ma reimburse that Pouring up Remy, Remy. Throwing up Benny. Benny Now they wanna love me Now they wanna love me Girl I tried to plenty I don't trust any They don't know Obina They in love with Belly and while well, the label is owned by King Twilly, who's sort of a very well connected guy. I've seen him with Diddy, I've seen him with Chris Brown, I've even seen him having dinner with Ashanti. And as well, he owns Block 13 Agency. I don't know what he does, but I've seen guys like Mislali there. I've just seen a lot of people at Block 13. And I think he also owns House of Twilly, which is sort of a streetwear store. And so it would be safe to assume that maybe he's a successful entrepreneur, which would then explain why and how Lucas Swaps got so financially lucrative so fast. But while well, back to the label looking at the signings being Reza, Lucas Webbs, Young Serino as well as Didi's godson from America, K Cash and now the three new artists. Do you think this label has what it takes to take over the game or would you rather first wait for the label to drop its first project first and then give your judgment? Comment down let me know what you guys think about it and I will respond to your comments with my own thoughts as well and if you like this video please give a thumbs up because it actually does help this channel and please do not forget to subscribe for more updates on your favorite celebrities.